welcome back to another episode we are doing more dragon age updates and continuation of the story again um, i am playing as a rogue um, with the necro fac faction so kind of important if you haven't already watched the first three four parts of this go check it out there'll be tabs kind of appearing up in the top right corner so you can easily click it or go visit the dragon age uh bell guard playlist I have, which will be listed at the end of this video. Again, it's just going to be a little tab up there. So, but what we are doing in this episode is we are diving into the Antivan Crows. We are finding a little bit more about Lucian and um, his background, backstory, whatever you want to call it, along with setting up the connection between the Antivan Crows and whatever group I'm orchestrating building together. So without further ado, Sit back and enjoy. It's a shorter episode. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you at the end of this episode. Places between. The spirits are returning. They should be safe now, with the defenders on alert.
So, you're not sure you can trust me, but it was your idea to hire me. I made the suggestion. Rook made the call. Why? Are you worried I have ulterior motives? That I planted the idea in Rook? You keep disrupting the Antom. I'll keep you stocked. Always open. Occupied. The insult of it. It's more than insult. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt. But more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? Forgive Taya. She gets testy when a contract is delayed. Help me out here. What contract? One that may involve you. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord Butcher Dathrata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The Butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that, with the help of gods or something else. Despite it being the outcome, assassination is not about killing, it's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The Crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. The gods care about taking Treviso? The Butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Antam. But Antam distrust magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. You're in charge? Antiva has a king. And the power of a king is enforced by armies. Antiva has no army. It has the crows. There's a reason Antivan coins have portraits of guild leaders, not royalty. We're patriots. Crows can't field a battalion, but we protect our nation our way. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped. Where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information? Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, killing him isn't the contract. Butcher Dothrada. What do you know about him? The Antem army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the butcher himself is odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. Helping the crows helps everyone in the long run. What's the first step to your message? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something that Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drown District, so that's a place to start. 
Find our crow and help with his contract. Find your crow. Then what? We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the drop. district. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for once a year. Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. Don't look down. So, you're not sure you can trust me, but it was your idea to hire me. I made the suggestion. Rook made the call. Why? Are you worried I have ulterior motives? That I planted the idea in Rook's head for my own ends? That wasn't where this was going. Really? Because I'd have questions. A Tevinter mage breaks a demon-possessed assassin out of prison. What's her angle? Mierda. And people say I'm overly suspicious. Come on. Ilario will meet us at Cafe Pietra. It's not that far from here. We have time for he arrives. I wouldn't mind looking around a while. The markets are running. Good. I need to get some things while we're here. Treviso. I barely had time to look around when we returned from the ossuary. This place, does it feel very different? In some ways, more than I expected. But then, perhaps it's me. A potted plant? For Harding's Garden. Spearman is supposed to con bad dreams. It's good in desserts, too. So, you and Ilario are cousins? Yes, but we're more like brothers. Katarina took us both in a long time ago now. Here's the place. Bellara mentioned the daily seafood recipe she wants to make. <laughs> the demon of Virantium is grocery shopping for the team? Have you seen what they eat? It's a miracle you didn't all starve before you hired me. When we met, it didn't seem like Ilario and Katarina were close. It was hard to be close to her, even for me. And I was her favorite. A good... Fresh fruit. Nev only eats fried fish. You'd think a detective would have discovered scurvy by now. Is that everything on the list? Yes. And Ilario should be here by now. Let's go before he gets himself in trouble. Welcome. Your body is a sacred vessel, and I can provide you with the proper building materials. Whatever you need. You can't buy something for everyone but yourself. Here, this is for you. A wyvern tooth dagger? I loved wyverns as a boy. Katarina would never let me have one of these, though. Welcome. Mariana and I run the best fruit stand in Treviso. Cafe Pietra is just ahead. That's where we're meeting your cousin? Why not the casino? House Cantori has many talents. Making coffee is not one of them.
Finally. I thought you might leave me here all by my lonesome. Please. You think I'd ever pass up Cafe Pietra's coffee? You see, Rook? My cousin is our stomach and no heart. Don't mind him. Ilario cannot appreciate anything but himself. They serve a specialty roast here. Andural's breath. Bitter and sweet, like a kiss goodbye. You should try it. You just described my dream cup of coffee. <laughs> so, is there a reason we're not talking about Ilario's information, or what? We're still being spied on. No, the last one just left. Couldn't take your coffee talk. So, you have something? The crows I sent after Sara have picked up her trail. They say she's gone to Virantium. If she was here in Treviso to kill Katarina, she can't be in Virantium already. Rook's right. Zara's giving you a false lead, cousin. You have better information? We're compromised. There's no other way Zara could even touch Katarina. You need your eyes here, in Antiva. Zara would never be foolish enough to stay. Not with you out for blood. Of course she would. If the crows protecting her are here, Rook, reason with him, would you? He's been paranoid. I am not paranoid. She came after me. She came after Katerina. She will come for you, too. If it'll make you feel better, I'll clean house, all right? Leave it to me. He's gone. Of course he is. Ilario always caves under pressure. Let him. Crow business or not, we'll find Zara ourselves. Good. I've never seen you this content before. What happened? It's starting to sink in that I'm out. It's strange, like a wound that's suddenly numb. These simple moments, they're the stuff of life worth fighting for. How's your coffee? Strong enough to take down a god. Ready to head back to the lighthouse? Almost. Best place in Treviso. People feel at home here. Not even an army stops the Treviso market. Almost feels like home.
bunch of untamed stopped me on my way to work. Demanded to know who I was and where I was going. What gives them the right? There's the place. Keep your eyes open. We may not be the only ones interested. He was my cousin! We've got on. What? We are found! Attack! Don't worry. Hey and Viago sent us. You with the cars? Yes! Kill them! Kill the on top! <laughs> they killed Dareth! They killed my cousin! We're on the fire! They're weak on the left! We got them! <laughs> That's done. Are you Jacobus? Darren, my cousin. They... Please, you have to finish Darren's contract. It's about the Butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the Butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then... Someone has to finish this for Dareth. Please. We will take care of it. Go back to the diamond. I will, just... Just give me a minute. We should... That note said Dareth should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Te and Viago. Just follow the marks. There will be a trail of marks left by previous crows. It will lead us right to it. I've spotted them around the city. I think there's one nearby on the walls. Let's go look. A crow mark. Perfectly thrown. That's gotta be Dareth's trail. Keep an eye out. Another mark, this way. The market never stops, even during occupation. I meant to pick up more spices. Another time. A fine evening. You're keeping an eye on me. Is it the demon or the mage killer name? Maybe I want the secrets of your coffee supplier. Ah, uh, uh, that's not. Don't flatter yourself too much. I don't trust anyone on first. Here's another crow mark. Please, go on. Don't flatter yourself too much. I don't trust anyone on first meeting, and I keep an eye on every. This is where the marks lead. Dara's contract must be here somewhere. The butcher is making poison. Comic. I've heard of it. It does things to your mind. Nothing pleasant. 
If I were the butcher, it'd be a good way to keep people in line. We cannot let the butcher unleash this on Treviso. He won't. The Anton brought in a comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. We stop him there before this goes any further. Keep a grip. <laughs> Almost there. Hang on. We're in. Let's find the Comic Master. You cannot forbid the crows! The 
still in one piece. Poisoner. Poison? No. You face the gift of the gods! Look! Hold on! The Comic Master's dead. Good readings. First things first. Let's destroy the rest of the poison. Then we figure out what was going on here. That's the last of the poison, thankfully. Let's look for anything else that explains what's happening. Wait, this note says that wasn't all the comic. The Butcher's angry because someone missing. Who got their hands on it? No idea, but the note does mention the Butcher's inside traitor. The occupation had help. Tay and Viago need to know they were right. You out of your mind! I told you crows to stay out of this! Out of what? Defending our home? If we had a stronger civil government instead of a bunch of circus criminals, the Antom wouldn't have a foothold in the first place! Who is this? This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. My concern is how you've endangered the city. We're defending Antiva. These protections are in place for the good of everyone. 
You act without oversight. We crows are the oversight. And yet, here we are, awash in on, Tom. And now, you've angered the Butcher. It's bigger than whatever it is you're whining about. The gods are corrupting some of the Antom. And the Butcher? You two were right. He had help taking the city. Human traitors. I didn't want to believe it. Killing the Butcher does nothing if someone could just sell us out again. I'd start right here. You Talons are known for infighting and betrayal. You're accusing them. One of their crows died for this contract. That's enough. Rook. Thank you for finishing that contract. The only reward we have is to ask you for more. I'm here for whatever hurts the gods. Ivenchi is right about one thing. The Butcher will not like that we're fighting back. We need to be ready. Rook, I will have every crow tracking this traitor and the gods, and we will send word when we find something. The stakes are too high. This should be left to proper officials. Go back to filing trade receipts, Ivenchi. The crows rule Antiva. And Treviso will be free. With or without you, Governor. All right, there you have it. We defeated the butcher, and we're we're just getting started. We found out that they are working with uh, somebody within the Antiban Crows, and some traitorous humans. So it's about to pop off with the Antiban Crows, as we can tell further down the storyline. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, don't forget to drop the like and subscribe. It's completely free. Turn the bell icon on to make sure you get notifications for when a new episode does go live or when we go live other than that stay tuned for jam packed episode next which is going to be discovering harding's powers uh burying katharina and continue on to part five of the actual story where we start working with the dragon the shadow dragons so stay tuned for that i hope you all enjoy until next time everyone take care stay safe stay healthy and have a wonderful rest of your day